Okay, y'all, here's another how to finesse an F-boy tip. This one is vital, okay? Especially if you're trying to get more respect from him and turn it into something more serious. This is what you need to do. Okay, when he messes up and does something he shouldn't have or is a jerk, which he will do because he is an F-boy, he does not care about your feelings, I need you to really be upset about it. I'm not saying go off. I'm not saying be like, you did this, ah! No, don't confront him about it. Just completely ignore him. Ignore homeboy. Now he's gonna text you and call you and try to talk to you like nothing happened, like he did nothing. Do not pick up that call. Do not answer that text until he asks you what is wrong, until he addresses the situation. Now what you need to do when he does this, this is what you did and it made me feel really disrespected and upset. And because of that, I'm gonna take some time to myself because I deserve to be respected and I think you need to understand that. So I'm gonna give you some time to realize that. He's gonna be shut. All games. Now this girl, she actually has a lot of videos like this on TikTok. This is just one of them. But you know what's interesting to me about this whole thing about these F boys and all of this? Who do you think started the hookup culture? It wasn't men. When women started to say, you can have access to my body without any kind of commitment, without any kind of uh, uh, justification, you can just have it and we'll just figure it out after that. Matter of fact, we don't even have to have a relationship. We'll just have sex and that's it. We'll just be in the situationships. Women created the whole hookup culture thing and now they wanna complain about men that just wanna have sex with them. But that is what women put out there. You can just have sex with me. You don't have to buy the cow because you can get the milk for free. This is the mentality that they have, but they love to run around talking about men or F-boys. It's just another example how they want it every which way and sideways. They created the hookup culture that men exist in now, that these F-boys exist in. They wouldn't be F-boys without the hookup culture that the women created. So now they also want to complain about the men that are doing the very thing that they started, that they wanted, you know, the whole sexual liberation, the whole I can sleep with who I want to, the whole I can be just like a man. Why is do are men allowed to have all these bodies, but I can't? Women created that. Men can only do what women allow them to do. If women decided to one day say, you know what, we're gonna go back to this traditional time where a man had to actually court me and prove his worth, proved that he was married, uh, a husband material, and he had to see in me that I was wife material. If women decided to go back to that, men would act accordingly because men only react to what women give them. If you tell men, you send signals out that I'm easy, that you can just have this, they're gonna take it. If you're flaunting around, look at her, look what she has on. Got all this showing, all the skin, all the cleavage, but a man is not supposed to sexualize you, right? Usually when men sexualize women, it's because they've sexualized themselves first. But women, like I said, they want it every which way and sideways. They want to be able to dress like they want, talk like they want, have as many sexual partners as they want, but then sit there and play the victim and act like men are sexualizing them and men are playing games and men are just F boys. Come on now. It, the double standard is through the roof. And look at the joy on her face. A lot of women are like her. They take joy and pride in being able to play men for resources, be able to mess with men's emotions. This is what they do. And unfortunately, it's a lot of these young women and a lot of them are attractive. And you have to understand that, guys. You can't look at a woman and say, she's so beautiful. You know, even if she dresses nice, she must be a good person. No, you could be messing with some girl that looks just like this. You could get a sexually transmitted disease, all kind of things because these women are loose out here in these streets. Women do a lot of things out of emotions. They do a lot of things and then say, I will figure it out later. I'm gonna do what feels good to me now and I will figure it out later. Unfortunately, there's gonna be a lot of women like her that once they hit that wall and crash through that wall, they're gonna look back at their lives and they're gonna have a lot of regrets because they're gonna realize just how much time they wasted. And then they're gonna have to add up all those bodies. And then they're going to have to address that with men. Most men are not going to want to deal with that. They'll still sleep with you, maybe, but they're not going to want to deal with that, ladies. So you have to understand that. The games that you're playing, it's not a good look. It, this type of stuff right here, it doesn't make you ladylike. It doesn't make you look uh, respectable. It makes you look like a 304. It makes you look like you're materialistic. It makes you look like all you care about is trinkets and sex money and sex because this is what you're putting out 
Notice these women never ever talk about the character and who they are as a person. It's always about look at my body, look at my look 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 at my body, look how much men uh look how many men want me. Look how many games I can play. Look how many things I can do to finesse men out of money. And it's celebrated. Look at the United States. The United States is the only place. Now, this might be happening in other countries in the West, but I'm in the United States, so I'm speaking for that. In the United States, it's probably the only place where you will see women celebrate divorces, celebrate taking advantage of men, like, like, like it's a birthday party. So, fellas, you got to be smart. Don't fall for the pretty face. Look how women move. Watch what they do. Because if you don't, you will be a sucker and you will be played like this. Women are master manipulators. You will never be able to out manipulate a woman. You will never be able to out talk a woman. She has the one up on you. God made all women like that. And to all those people that have another higher, higher power that they, you know, go to respect. But women are built like that. You have the power to achieve anything you want. Don't let anything or anyone distract you from your goals. And remember, stay focused, stay strong, and stay positive. Make sure to like, subscribe, and share this video with those in need.